It is my honor and pleasure to be here this morning to um, really see a lot of amazing women um, that are doing amazing things. Um, Anna, thank you for the introduction. Um, I, I know I'm, I'm, I, I flew in from Hong Kong um, just to give, to be here today to, because it's, it's really important for me um, around the women initiatives and I see a lot of familiar faces as I've done a lot of talks around the world um, that, have, that have the same passion as I am. So it's, it's incredibly humbling, but it's also intimidating um, to, to be a keynote, the first keynote. So I hope, <clears throat> I hope my, my message um, translates very well to everyone um, because I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of intelligent women and accomplished women sitting all here in, in the room around the world, so gotta be careful what I say, um, being a technologist, um, will we'll, um, have the same passion and pride that we do to celebrate such an important occasion. So first of all, I think we all need to give ourselves a round of applause for being here today and recognizing the International Women's Day. <clears throat> so, you know, when I, when I was asked to give a keynote um, around International Women's Day, the first question I asked is, why, right? Why, why, why do we need to celebrate International Women's Day, because it's a day that I think, as women, we need to celebrate every day. Um, we, we face a lot of obstacles and challenges, um, either professionally or personally, uh, socially, um, around the world, um, that we, we need to make sure that every day is a, 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 a special day for us, because we overcome a lot of obstacles. So, but, but more importantly, um, I, I do appreciate that there is a day dedicated um, internationally that we all as women can recognize ourselves. So I, I, I think it's a great honor. Um, International Women's Day has been celebrated um, since the early 1900s, a time of great expansion and turbulence in the industrialized world that saw booming population growth and rise of radical ideologies. It is a day to recognize women for their achievement without regard to division, whether national, ethnic, li linguist, cultural, economic, or political. It's an occasion to look back at our past struggles and accomplishments, and more importantly, for looking ahead to the untapped potential and opportunities that await the future generations of women. So Andrew, as you talked about your, your, your seven-year-old saying, you know, this is amazing. It's their future, not ours. Since 2000, International Women's Day has become an official holiday in 27 countries. It is true that in some countries, International Women's Day has lost its political flavor and has become an occasion for men to express their love for women in a way somewhat similar to the mixture of Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, with flowers and small gifts. In other countries, however, the political and human rights theme designated by the United Nations still runs strong. And political and social awareness of the struggles of women worldwide are discussed and examined in a hopeful manner. So now, International Day represents a movement that every woman and girl, no matter where they live, a champion of ideas, <clears throat> a champion of ideas, Mala Shufsfei, um, became the youngest Nobel Prize, no, Nobel Prize winner nominee in history by risking her lives for the cause of uni universal girls' education. The reality that we must confront on, on the International Women's Day is following. The, de the decision women make about their families are key to improving lives for many of the poorest communities in the world. Studies have shown women are more likely than men to take care of their family's health, nutrition, and things that children need to become a productive adult and contribute to the economic and social development of societies. In fact, the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization reports that children's chances of survival increases by 20% whether the woman controls, when the woman controls the household budget. Yet in many places, women have very little decision-making authority to, to be able to affect this kind of change. Annually, on March 8th, thousands of events are held throughout the world to inspire women and achieve, 
and celebrate achievement. A, 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 global web, a, a global web of rich and diverse local activities con con connects women from all over the world, ranging from political rallies, business conferences, government activities, and networking events, to local crafts market, theoretic performance, fashion parades, and more. This is a day where ideas of gl thinking globally and acting locally becomes, comes to life, where women band together to ensure that all the future of girls is bright, equal, safe, and rewarding. With that said, often one, one, often one ponders and says, what are the issues women still gra grapple with globally, whether it's violence, lack of access to health or education. While we're making strides in women, women's rights, its equal and safe place we hope to promote does not yet exist worldwide. It is true that there are women in the boardrooms, greater equality in legislative rights, and an increased visibility of women's role in every aspect of life. But do not let us mislead you on that. The unfortunate fact is that women are still paid unequally to their male counterparts. Women are not present in equal numbers in business or politics. And globally, women's education and health are worse there than of men. In the household school, <clears throat> The workplace and in politics, women continue to face violence, sexual abuse, exploitation, and discriminations. Girls and women have suffered disproportionately from global crisis as they are the first to be withdrawn from education to take on extra care for their families or to lose their jobs from a decline in work condition. Limitation on owning land for women stifle the ability to be financially independent. All over the world, there is a growing divide between the rich and the poor. And the poor that has a distinct gender perspective. Approximately 15.4% of women compared with 12% of men are living below the below the poverty line in the United States. The higher levels of poverty amongst women, despite the dis dis significant contribution to the economy, are linked to the fact that they are viewed as marginal workers and consumers rather than as producers and all managers. Governments have generally failed to integrate women's unpaid work in national accounting systems. So why is it important that we have a standalone de development goal dedicated to those women? Did you know that in September of this year, the target date of Millennium Development Goals will elapse? In anticipation to that date, the United Nations is in, progress, is in process of defining a post-2015 development agenda to set the world on track with renewed purpose. The process of forming this new agenda is a mem member state led with broad participation of an open working group of the General Assembly, intergovernmental committees, and other civil, stakeholders, civil society stakeholders. Until the agenda is set, however, everyone wonders which goal is the final product will include. Realizing gender justice is more than mere provision of legal legislation or an amendment of discrimination laws. Discrimination is rooted in perpetuating systems of patriarchy and negative social and cultural forms. So what can the social development goals do to improve this current status quo? Goal five of the proposed Sustainable Development Goals calls for the achievement of gender equality and empowerment of all women 
and goals. This goal emphasizes the need to eliminate discrimination. Violence, harmful practices, barriers to reproductive health rights, and barriers to economic resources for women. On the most basic level, this is a global, this is a goal heavily dedicated to the elimination of practices. It tells the world these are the practices that occur daily and they're no longer acceptable. It says, as we are a global community, we must change the way in which women are valued. It shows the issue at hand not only represents, not only presents the way to expand on what has been done to achieve equality, but to go back to the fundamentals to establish a global understanding of what is no longer acceptable. The government must play a central role in creating the conditions for eradication of negative social and cultural norms to allow women to enjoy their rights while respecting and protecting cultures. They can also address patriarchal structures that maintains women's inequality. Promoting women's leadership and widening women's role in decision making are key strategies for sustainable development. Since production and reproduction require the full participation and partnership of both men and women. Although a number of countries have reported progress on this front, the overall lack of gender disaggregated data of all levels, international, national, and local, does not allow for an adequate assessment of women's participation in a sustainable development. Analytical research, including case studies, should provide better insights into the gender and sustainable development links. On the whole, through the transformative change needed to achieve sustainable development will be, will be impossible without the full and effective participation of women in all phases of decision making and implementation. An effective policy one that is being done today is to mobilize and engage women in the development of the post-2015 development agenda and its subsequent implementation. So ladies, what is, the future, what, what is the future that we all want? The outcome of the document of the Rio Plus G20 Summit, titled The Future We Want, resolved to establish an inclusive and transparent intergovernmental process on the S SD SDGs that is open to all stakeholders with a view of developing a global sustainable development goals to be ag agreed by the UNGA. With that said, we must consider what it is that we want out of our futures. Participate in the discussions, voice your opinions, shape policy, policies from the bottoms up and from the top to bottom as well. Today is a day that we celebrate the opportunity to change the future for women and girls and a day to celebrate the strides that we have already made. The issue in achieving meaningful, measurable, needed and achievable goals is not an issue of resources. It is a question of will. And I leave you with, two, uh, two, uh, with a quote. When there is a will, there are thousands of resources. When there is no will, there are thousands of excuses. So thank you, ladies.